The Parable of the Wedding Feast Matthew chapter 22 And Jesus answered and spoke to them again by parables, and said, To the kingdom of heaven is like a certain king who arranged a marriage for his son, three and sent out his servants to call those who were invited to the wedding, and they were not willing to come. For again, he sent out other servants, saying, Tell those who are invited, See, I have prepared my dinner, my oxen and fatted cattle are killed, and all things are ready. Come to the wedding. 5. But they made light of it and went their ways, one to his own farm, another to his business. 6. And the rest seized his servants, treated them, a, spitefully, and killed them. 7. But when the king heard about it, he was furious. And he sent out his armies, destroyed those murderers, and burned up their city. 8. Then he said to his servants, The wedding is ready, but those who were invited were not worthy. 9. Therefore go into the highways, and as many as you find, invite to the wedding. 10. So those servants went out into the highways, and gathered together all whom they found, both bad and good. And the wedding hall was filled with guests. 11. But when the king came in to see the guests, he saw a man there who did not have on a wedding garment. 12. So he said to him, Friend, how did you come in here without a wedding garment? And he was speechless. 13. Then the king said to the servants, Bind him hand and foot, B, take him away, and cast him into outer darkness, there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. 14. For many are called, but few are chosen. The Pharisees, is it lawful to pay taxes to Caesar? 15. Then the Pharisees went and plotted how they might entangle him in his talk. 16. And they sent to him their disciples with the Herodians, saying, Teacher, we know that you are true, and teach the way of God in truth, nor do you care about anyone, for you do not, see, regard the person of men. 17. Tell us, therefore, what do you think? Is it lawful to pay taxes to Caesar, or not? 18. But Jesus, D, perceived their wickedness, and said, Why do you test me, you hypocrites? 19. Show me the tax money. So they brought him a denarius. 20. And he said to them, Whose image and inscription is this? 21. They said to him, Caesar's. And he said to them, Render, E, therefore to Caesar the things that are Caesar's, and to God the things that are God's. 22. When they had heard these words, they marveled, and left him, and went their way. The Sadducees, what about the resurrection? 23 The same day the Sadducees, who say there is no resurrection, came to him and asked him, 24 saying, Teacher, Moses said that if a man dies, having no children, his brother shall marry his wife and raise up offspring for his brother. 25 Now there were with us seven brothers. The first died after he had married, and having no offspring, left his wife to his brother. 26 Likewise the second also, and the third, even to the seventh. 27 Last of all the woman died also. 28 Therefore, in the resurrection, whose wife of the seven will she be? For they all had her. 29 Jesus answered and said to them, You are, F, mistaken, not knowing the scriptures nor the power of God. 34 In the resurrection they neither marry nor are given in marriage, but are like angels, G, of God in heaven. 31 But concerning the resurrection of the dead, have you not read what was spoken to you by God, saying, 32 I am the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob? God is not the God of the dead, but of the living. 33 And when the multitudes heard this, they were astonished at his teaching. The scribes, which is the first commandment of all? 34. But when the Pharisees heard that he had silenced the Sadducees, they gathered together. 35. Then one of them, a lawyer, asked him a question, 
testing him, and saying, 36 teacher, which is the great commandment in the law. 37 Jesus said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. 38 This is the first and great commandment. 39 And the second is like it, You shall love your neighbor as yourself. 40 On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Jesus, how can David call his descended Lord? 41 While the Pharisees were gathered together, Jesus asked them, 42 saying, What do you think about the Christ? Whose son is he? They said to him, The son of David. 43 He said to them, How then does David in the Spirit call him Lord, saying, 44 The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand, till I make your enemies your footstool. 45 If David then calls him Lord, how is he his son? 46 And no one was able to answer him a word, nor from that day on did anyone dare question him anymore. Woe to the scribes and Pharisees. Matthew chapter 23 then Jesus spoke to the multitudes and to his disciples, two saying, The scribes and the Pharisees sit in Moses' seat. Three therefore whatever they tell you, H, to observe, that observe and do, but do not do according to their works, for they say, and do not do. For for they bind heavy burdens, hard to bear, and lay them on men's shoulders, but they themselves will not move them with one of their fingers. 5. But all their works they do to be seen by men. They make their phylacteries broad and enlarge the borders of their garments. 6. They love the I, best places at feasts, the best seats in the synagogues, seven greetings in the marketplaces, and to be called by men, Rabbi, Rabbi. 8. But you, do not be called Rabbi, for one is your J, teacher, K, the Christ, and you are all brethren. 9. Do not call anyone on earth your father, for one is your father, he who is in heaven. 10. And do not be called teachers, for one is your teacher, the Christ. 11. But he who is greatest among you shall be your servant. 12. And whoever exalts himself will be, L, humbled, and he who humbles himself will be, M, exalted. 13. But woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For you shut up the kingdom of heaven against men, for you neither go in yourselves, nor do you allow those who are entering to go in. 14. And woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For you devour widows' houses, and for pretense make long prayers. Therefore you will receive greater condemnation. 15. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For you travel land and sea to win one proselyte, and when he is one, you make him twice as much a son of, oh, hell as yourselves. 16. Woe to you, blind guides, who say, whoever swears by the temple, it is nothing, but whoever swears by the gold of the temple, he is obliged to perform it. 17. Fools and blind. For which is greater, the gold or the temple that, P, sanctifies the gold? 18. And whoever swears by the altar, it is nothing, but whoever swears by the gift that is on it, he is obliged to perform it. 19. Fools and blind. For which is greater, the gift or the altar that sanctifies the gift? 20. Therefore he who, Q, swears by the altar, swears by it, and by all things on it. 21. He who swears by the temple, swears by it, and by him who, R, dwells in it. 22. And he who swears by heaven, swears by the throne of God, and by him who sits on it. 23. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For you pay tithe of mint and anise and cumin, and have neglected the weightier matters of the law, justice and mercy and faith. These you ought to have done, without leaving the others undone. 
24 blind guides who strain out a gnat and swallow a camel 25 woe to you scribes and pharisees hypocrites for you cleanse the outside of the cup and dish but inside they are full of extortion and s self-indulgence 26 blind pharisee first cleanse the inside of the cup and dish that the outside of them may be clean also 27 woe to you scribes and pharisees hypocrites for you are like whitewashed tombs which indeed appear beautiful outwardly but inside are full of dead men's bones and all uncleanness 28 even so you also outwardly appear righteous to men but inside you are full of hypocrisy and lawlessness 29 woe to you scribes and pharisees hypocrites because you build the tombs of the prophets and t adorn the monuments of the righteous 30 and say if we had lived in the days of our fathers we would not have been partakers with them in the blood of the prophets 31 therefore you are witnesses against yourselves that you are sons of those who murdered the prophets 32 fill up then the measure of your father's guilt 33 serpents brood you of vipers how can you escape the condemnation of hell 34 therefore indeed i send you prophets wise men and scribes some of them you will kill and crucify and some of them you will scourge in your synagogues and persecute from city to city 35 that on you may come all the righteous blood shed on the earth from the blood of righteous abel to the blood of zechariah son of barikia whom you murdered between the temple and the altar 36 assuredly i say to you all these things will come upon this generation jesus laments over jerusalem 37 o jerusalem jerusalem the one who kills the prophets and stones those who are sent to her how often i wanted to gather your children together as a hen gathers her chicks under her wings but you were not willing 38 c your house is left to you desolate 39 for i say to you you shall see me no more till you say blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord jesus predicts the destruction of the temple matthew chapter 24 then jesus went out and departed from the temple and his disciples came up to show him the buildings of the temple two and jesus said to them do you not see all these things assuredly i say to you not one stone shall be left here upon another that shall not be thrown down the signs of the times and the end of the age three now as he sat on the mount of olives the disciples came to him privately saying tell us when will these things be and what will be the sign of your coming and of the end of the age for and jesus answered and said to them take heed that no one deceives you five for many will come in my name saying i am the christ and will deceive many six and you will hear of wars and rumors of wars see that you are not troubled for v all these things must come to pass but the end is not yet seven for nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom and there will be famines w pestilences and earthquakes in various places eight all these are the beginning of sorrows nine then they will deliver you up to tribulation and kill you and you will be hated by all nations for my name's sake 10 and then many will be offended will betray one another and will hate one another 11 then many false prophets will rise up and deceive many 12 and because lawlessness will abound the love of many will grow cold 13 but he who endures to the end shall be saved 14 and this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in all the world as a witness to all the nations and then the end will come the great tribulation 15 therefore when you see the abomination of desolation spoken of by daniel the prophet standing in the holy place whoever reads let him understand 
16 then let those who are in Judea flee to the mountains 17 let him who is on the housetop not go down to take anything out of his house 18 and let him who is in the field not go back to get his clothes 19 but woe to those who are pregnant and to those who are nursing babies in those days 20 and pray that your flight may not be in winter or on the Sabbath 21 for then there will be great tribulation such as has not been since the beginning of the world until this time no nor ever shall be 22 and unless those days were shortened no flesh would be saved but for the ex elect's sake those days will be shortened 23 then if anyone says to you look here is the christ or there do not believe it 24 for false christs and false prophets will rise and show great signs and wonders to deceive if possible even the elect 25 c i have told you beforehand 26 therefore if they say to you look he is in the desert do not go out or look he is in the inner rooms do not believe it 27 for as the lightning comes from the east and flashes to the west so also will the coming of the son of man be 28 for wherever the carcass is there the eagles will be gathered together the coming of the son of man 29 immediately after the tribulation of those days the sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light the stars will fall from heaven and the powers of the heavens will be shaken 30 then the sign of the son of man will appear in heaven and then all the tribes of the earth will mourn and they will see the son of man coming on the clouds of heaven with power and great glory 31 and he will send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet and they will gather together his why elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other the parable of the fig tree 32 now learn this parable from the fig tree when its branch has already become tender and puts forth leaves you know that summer is near 33 so you also when you see all these things know that z it is near at the doors 34 assuredly i say to you this generation will by no means pass away till all these things take place 35 heaven and earth will pass away but my words will by no means pass away no one knows the day or hour 36 but of that day and hour no one knows not even the angels of aa heaven but my father only 37 but as the days of noah were so also will the coming of the son of man be 38 for as in the days before the flood they were eating and drinking marrying and giving in marriage until the day that noah entered the ark 39 and did not know until the flood came and took them all away so also will the coming of the son of man be 40 then two men will be in the field one will be taken and the other left 41 two women will be grinding at the mill one will be taken and the other left 42 watch therefore for you do not know what of our your lord is coming 43 but know this that if the master of the house had known what he see our the thief would come he would have watched and not allowed his house to be broken into 44 therefore you also be ready for the son of man is coming at an hour you do not expect the faithful servant and the evil servant 45 who then is a faithful and wise servant whom his master made ruler over his household to give them food add in due season 46 blessed is that servant whom his master when he comes will find so doing 47 assuredly i say to you that he will make him ruler over all his goods 48 but if that evil servant says in his heart my master is delaying ae his coming 49 and begins to beat his fellow servants and to eat and drink with the drunkards 50 the master of that servant will come on a day when he is not looking for him and at an hour that he is not aware of 51 and will cut him in two and appoint him his portion with the hypocrites 
there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth, 